Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Bravo from the cloud team at Canonical. In this short video, I'm going to show you how it looks like to be running an end of support Ubuntu after a year and a half of reaching its end of support period. As you may know, every two years, Canonical releases a new LTS version of Ubuntu, which will be supported for five years. But after those five years, what happens is that if you don't upgrade to a newer version or if you don't get an Ubuntu Pro subscription, you will stop receiving security updates. Okay, so we are going to use Ubuntu 18.04 here on AWS to see how it looks like from the security standpoint and, and how many CVs are affecting the machine. Let's go into the EC2 console and see how it looks like. Here I have an Ubuntu 18.04 server, which I have launched and I have it with everything by default. Okay, let me log in into the machine. This is the IP. And uh, let's run an update. Okay, everything is up to date as shown here. So I don't have any single available update for this machine. And if you want to see how many available packages you have for your Ubuntu LTS version, you can run sudo pro security status. And with, with this pro utility, you will see how many pending security updates are on an Ubuntu 18.04 with a pro subscription. Okay, let's go to inspector and click here by instance. And you can see here the server, it has 15 critical vulnerabilities and 182 high vulnerabilities, right? And a lot of medium. So if you go here to this page, you can see in detail all the CVEs that are affecting that machine. And you can see Python, you can see even the kernel here um, and many other libraries. So this is the risk when you're running a, an Ubuntu without support. Okay, so for the sake of the exercise, we are going to upgrade it to Ubuntu Pro. It is just about attaching a license, doing a license conversion. So in order to do so, I need to go to EC2 and stop the instance. This is the one that I need to stop. Click here and stop. Okay. Now go to License Manager. Click here on License Type Conversion. The source is Ubuntu LTS. Here it is. Click here. And this is the destination license, Ubuntu Pro. Click here, Next, and Convert. And now we, we have to pause the video for the sake of time because it, it could take like 20 minutes maybe. Okay, now you can see that the license conversion succeeded. Let's go back to EC2 and, and see the instance. I already started the machine because after the, the conversion, the machine will be stopped. Here's the IP. Let's connect again. All right. We have ESM Infra and ESM Apps, which is extended support for, for packages. And we have a, a warning because we are not running the latest kernel. Live patch will cover me only if I'm running the latest one. So let's run an update and an upgrade. All right, let's pause the video. Okay, now the update is being finished. If you see here, we are also installing a new kernel. That is perfect because you saw in the CV is that we had many affecting the current, the previous kernel. All right, done. Let's reboot and pause the video again. Now we're back into the machine and let's run the pro status. Everything is running, even live patch. I don't have the warning anymore. And let's go to inspector. So if you see, we still have the same numbers as previously because inspector needs to do an, uh, a new full scan of the machine. So we're going to wait here and wait for maybe 30 minutes. I'm going to pause the video, of course, and I'll get back right now. OK, here, this is it. Let's reload the page. Loading. Wow, that's, that was a big change. Now we can see that there are no findings now. There are no CVs affecting this machine from the more than 700s previously shown here. Okay, so as a few takeaways, 
every Ubuntu LTS release has 5 years of standard support and after that you can either switch to a newer Ubuntu LTS version or attach an Ubuntu Pro license as we showed in this video. Alright, I hope you have enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.